Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly. I am Todd Tremonti, and we do have a full studio and a full show for you today. If you miss one stinking second of it, go check it out on the podcast. Wherever you listen to podcasts, look for DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. Very long name, so it's easy to find. We've got full price Courtney in studio. We've got the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny, Ian Daniels, and we've got the Phoenix. Phoenix, the intern. We might even give this kid a microphone. Could be lawn care, business promotions. Richardson, Texas area. Reach out. All right, let's get into it. If you've got questions, comments, or anything you need about your real estate, whether you're buying, selling, renting, or just enjoying that bad boy, you text us, 214 310 Zero 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 eight, or or you could actually call us like the good old days where we talk to each other with voices and things. 214-310-0008. But wait, there's more. If you don't want to text and you don't want to call, you just go on to the old internets. Toddtremontyteam.com. To Toddtremontyteam.com. You could even tell you what, you could even you could even back off of that and just Google my name. You don't even have to spell it completely right. You'll probably find us. You can see over 700 reviews. And then you can fill out any form, text, or call any phone number, click any button, take any scorecard quiz you want, search every home by every agent and all of DFW. All that's online at TodtramontiTeam.com. Hey, who is this first segment brought to us by? Hey, it's brought to us by, as always, Patrick Gleros and Cardinal Financial. His team, whether you're looking to get a mortgage, whether you're looking to refinance, whether you're thinking about getting an investment property, Patrick is a great first place to go to figure out what you can afford, what that's going to look like. PatrickGleros.com is where you can go. You can start an application right there on his website. 972-728-3420 is how you can call him. NMLS number 308-804. Or go to touchmoneyteam.com and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. That's right. People who are only listening on the radio and never catch the YouTube or the podcast are missing out on the giant stack of fake cash that sits on the studio table all the time and all the amazing pranks like the one we did with Janet from Republic Title where I slid some very well, I put way too much time into distressing these fake $100 bills to make them look very real. Slid them into her purse. She had some travel. She thought she had about $400 more than she actually did, which sounds really bad. It was actually very, very funny. And that's not a live read for Republic Title. That was just a funny story that the giant stack of fake cash on the table made me think of. Now, moving right along. (laughs) Uh, Have you seen the, I mean, I'm sure you have, like the deepening financial crisis that's going on in China right now. And there's I mean, I I study it like the back of my hand. Figured you would. Um... (laughs) But uh, Country Garden caves to debts as China's real estate crisis wor- worsens. And Country Garden is like, I guess, one of the big property giants. Huge conglomerate, yeah. And they just, they don't have any money. Yeah. So, Turns out you need money to keep running your business. Right. And so at one point that seemed like it was going to be unstoppable. And now it's it's caving. Like, it's, it's, it's going. Like, how is that going to affect us here in the U.S.? Yeah, so the the broad question here is, and this is a specific question, but the bo- broad question is like, how does the Chinese housing market affect the American housing market? And the answer is more directly than you might think. Um, the question specifically is about one Chinese property group entity, which in China, these things are harder to understand the boundaries of. Like in the United States, you would say, oh, well, that's a private company. And this over here is the government. They're very, very separate things. Well, that's not quite as separate in China. So you're seeing a seemingly private company that the government has a particular interest in wanting to be successful for a lot of reasons, struggle mightily. And so you're seeing the housing market and the economy and the debt market and the investment markets struggle a bit. Well, what does that mean? Well, on the one hand, it doesn't mean a lot for the American economy and housing market because we are by, you know, very, very, very much our own thing. On the other hand, there are some cords connected there. So we're seeing a lot less investment in the United States residential housing out of China than we were two years ago, where debt was unbelievably low. 
and American real estate look like a huge investment opportunity compared to other markets. Um, so the net, net, net takeaway for a homeowner in Dallas, Fort Worth is we're seeing a lot fewer Chinese buyers of DOW real estate. That doesn't mean we're seeing none, but we're seeing a lot less uh, Chinese cash and investment flood into our residential housing market. We've actually seen some areas of the United States where there's literally been laws placed that foreign funds can't purchase um, local residential real estate. And and that's becoming a political football. So I'm not going to get into it, but that's part, you know, those are some of the talking points of the current presidential election cycle. But I would say on the ground, the one thing a homeowner in DFW can take away from that is we're not seeing nearly as much Chinese investment capital buying houses in DFW. There's a bigger economic you know, viewpoint on that. But as far as what matters for DFW real estate, you know, less foreign investment in our local real estate. Not none, but less. Yeah, it's really interesting to kind of see, you know, how these types of things are, are going to affect not just in the short term, but in the in the long term. Yeah, and most people pay no attention to that and don't care. But right. if you're tuning into a show like this, you probably have a heightened level of interest in your house, your investment, or our market. It's a worthy well, and conversation. There's so point. many other things too, like that go on globally, right? I mean, we obviously have the Ukraine Russia situation going on. Now we have Israel. Yep. And then we've got these things. And it's just like, man, like all these things have a massive knock on effect to us right here in the US. Well, and I'll say right now, the the cumulative nature of lots of stuff happening in the world is just fewer eyeballs, fewer brain cells dedicated to buying and selling houses. Right? So that sounds kind of silly, but it's true. If you have a, some seasonality to the market anyway, and people generally go, oh, it's fall now. People don't move in fall. Just stereotypical thinking. And you have wars and elections and less than favorable interest rates and things. You, people just turn that switch in their brain, the, the subconscious metaphorical switch for real estate. They just turn that off and they think, well, I'll turn that back on in the springtime. That's where the opportunities are. That's where the opportunities are. That's where if you want to buy and sell right now, if you want to buy and only buy right now, take advantage of the fact that a whole bunch of other people have taken their eye off the ball. If you want to sell right now, be careful. It's a great time to sell, but you do need to be careful because you need to give a full effort because buyer demand is down. The, the, the financial outlook for buyers is you know, less than rosy on one hand. But a lot of sellers are going to sell at lower numbers than they should right now. We could tell you story after story of sellers that are still breaking all-time records. We're not selling for 22% more than last year, but we are selling for the highest price ever sold. And we guarantee to sell your house over the average price and under the average time, period. If we choose to work with you and you choose to work with us, we will guarantee to sell your house over the average price and under the average time. You can go to touchmoneyteam.com. You can call or text 214-310-0008, but we are still doing that right now, even in this market, but it does require strategy and a conversation. So give us a call, 214-310-0008, or go online to touchmoneyteam.com. Now, my girls would want you to be very sure that you're aware. Find out what your home would sell for right now and under a minute at touchmoneyteam.com. As well as? Google touchmoney and check out over... 700 five-star reviews. It's important that everyone knows. Nailed it. I think they really, right. I will be not, not needed take here in one? about six months. Is that a take one situation? <clears throat> uh, one of them was take one. The other was not. Okay. Yeah. Take two? Uh, Getting closer? We were, we were, it was process improvement. Okay. It was a Kaizen situation. All right. I like it. Let me tell you about Super Home Warranty. HelloSuper.com is where you can go and find out all the information about what they offer with their home warranties. Every single one of our sellers gets covered by Super Home Warranty before they go on the market in case something comes up and happens and we're able to get somebody out there and they're able to get out there and do a great job. A super job, you might even say. You, might say. you might say home warranty reinvented. There you go. Which is what the pen literally in my hand right now says Super Home Warranty, Home Warranty reinvented. It's really, really important to us that our buyers get to sleep easy at night and oh, Super yeah. Home Warranty help them do that. That first year that they're in the home, they're fully covered. And if something goes wrong, someone's going to come out and they're going to be able to take care of them and try and get everything fixed for a really, really, really reasonable. That's right. 
Super. We think they're important. We think they're super. We do. Hey, before we talk about financial stuff, I want to get Courtney on the mic. Courtney, okay, you got a big Courtney, announcement, Courtney. I think. You want microphone. Big microphone. Ready? 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 Drum roll. Go. Well, Todd, we are celebrating <laughs> a huge <laughs> moment on YouTube. If you watch the show on YouTube, which you can at DFW Real Estate Weekly. You sadly won't see Courtney's face when we gave her the microphone. She no. didn't actually realize what we were giving it I, for. I didn't realize. I wasn't ready for the segment. But the what I want to show prep that went into that. I want to was... celebrate. We hit one million views. It's a huge moment. The crowd went wild. I mean, the crowd went nuts. Todd, I'm really proud of you. Hey. It's a milestone. I'm bad at these things. Um, actually, before the show today, uh, we have a real estate conference coming up, and Ian goes, uh, hey, we sold this many tickets today. And I was like, yeah, but... And he goes, Todd. Todd. <laughs> and the pattern is... And I talked about this the other day on the, the book that I'm reading. Last week? I talked about... I need to celebrate the wins and not always look for the next right. win. What we're capable of. to look of. for the negative in the win. Sure. Well, I, you can call me out publicly. I don't think I look for the negative as much as I look for the gap between what we did and what we were capable of. That, I think there's a difference. I don't, I don't say that stinks. I say that's cool, but, but, and I'm, it's always, you know, so million views is a big deal. It's awesome. Um, awesome. we're super excited. You know, we've been doing YouTube since like 2007. We took a little time off, which we shouldn't have. We learned that lesson. Um, and the reality is we're not an entertainment type deal. We're not like, you know, filling the swimming pool with Orbeez to entertain everybody. Ooh, can we do that? So we, well, mine was empty the other day. I thought about it, but the reality is we're out here trying to give you reliable information on house related stuff, buying, selling, improving, protecting your home value, enjoying your home more. And we understand that's not like the most enthralling reality television you've ever found, but it is important. And we feel like it's important. We feel like there's some mission there because if we don't do that, we know the information you get is less accurate, less helpful, and less about serving you. It's about grabbing your attention, it's about getting the click, getting the view, getting the review, getting the read, getting the listen for other motivations. Clearly, we have one or two other motivations as well. We would love to earn your business, earn your trust at the, at the point where you need to buy or sell and we could be your agent or broker. But we're also totally fine. If you have an agent or broker that you trust that has really proven to be full-time, fully committed and amazing results, we are totally fine being an additional resource to you to help your life go better, to help you build wealth better, protect your family better, enjoy your home more. Uh, we're cool with that. If we bumped into you at the grocery store or a festival or a concert or whatever, we would, we love it when someone's like, Hey, love your show. You know, we, we're looking forward to using you someday, or we just bought with someone else or whatever, but you were really, really helpful. We believe that we have some gifts and abilities to share with the world, and this is how we do it. So we do it on the radio show. We do it on the YouTube channel. We do it on the podcast. Sometimes that content crosses over, but there are hundreds of pieces of content on the YouTube channel that you've never heard on the radio, that you'll never hear on the podcast, and we think you should check that out. You can go to ToddTremontyTeam.com. You can click the videos tab, or you can go to TTHST.TV right now and see a lot of the work that producer Courtney, full price Courtney, does all throughout the week. Do you think we could do all of that? Because that's all awesome. But do you think we could do all of that while dropping cars from a helicopter to see which one survives? Listen, I'm into Just it. Just saying. I'm into it. I don't know. Clicks. I don't know that's our primary gift. I do know that children like to watch that a lot yes. more. Maybe homeowners. Yeah, maybe. Someday there will be. Could we be. need the views to get the budget. You know what I mean? <laughs> could it could be a real crossover. I do have this stack of fake cash that we could maybe use for that. <laughs> Just Mo trying to help. Guys. Moving right along. Hey, if let's move right along to the uh, financial world. And did you see recently that the heavy hitters in the real estate industry are calling upon the Fed to stop with the interest rate hikes. I may want to, to redefine heavy hitters, but go ahead. Oh, uh, well, I'll listen to that. 
Uh, we got uh, the Mortgage Bankers Association, MBA, mm-hmm. the National Association of Realtors, NAR, and the National Association of Home Builders, NAHB. Yep. Those are some unbelievably large organizations. NAR is one of the largest, most powerful lobbying organizations on the planet. But they're, tell- they're, they're saying, hey, can we please stop this? It is almost unaffordable for so many people right now. It is unaffordable for lots of people. So, he- so here's the thing. And, and chime in with whatever data from the article you want. Broadly speaking, what they are saying is we are the primary organizations that represent the primary professionals that serve the vast majority of Americans when it comes to buying a home, building a home, or financing a home. That's what that is. That's your mortgage bankers, your real estate organization, and your home building organization. What they are all saying is actually more significant than what it sounds like. It sounds like they're saying, please lower rates so we can all sell, finance, and build more homes. What they're saying is, please do that so that we can do that because what we do drives the economy. That's what they're saying. They're saying, if we have to stop building and people stop borrowing and people stop buying and selling, you think you're fixing the economy. We think you're crashing the economy. Now, understandably, we can't all just have whatever we want all the time. So these are smart organizations some of the times. I do think they do some dumb stuff sometimes, but... These are smart organizations that know better than to say, would you please reduce interest rates to zero so we can all go do what we do and make a lot of money? What they're saying is, we believe the way you're trying to solve this problem is creating as much or more harm than it is good. And we recommend with our economists and our professionals and our data and our projections and our historical understanding that we find a more balanced approach to federal bank rate management. And we would recommend the following course of action, not just a total reversal of strategy, but a balanced approach, maybe over a longer period of time. And this is why we believe that could solve the problem. Now, ask me the following question. Do you think the Fed will listen? Do you think the Fed will listen? No. Why? because the Fed has all the data that anyone could ever have on the planet. I think flawed data from every stinking angle, but the, the, the NAR, MBA, and NHB, and National Home Builders, NAHB, N- NAHB uh, are three of about 2,000 organizations, sure. maybe 100,000 organizations that want the Fed to do what they want the Fed to do. The Fed is theoretically a completely independent organization that will do what they believe to be best. And the Fed is a lot more than just the Fed chairman, blah, blah, blah. No one cares about all this stuff. The reality is I don't think they're going to pay any more attention to those groups than others. I do think, well, I take that back. I do think they pay more attention to those groups than others because they represent so many people that do represent the industries that drive our economy. But I don't think they're going to take orders from those people. Yeah, I mean, look, if you just look at the data, the basic data, Mortgage rates are at their highest for over a decade. I'm sorry. The mortgage rates are at their highest since 1996. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Let me start over. Mortgage rates are at the highest in a decade. Applications for mortgages are at the lowest since 1996. Yep. Like people- Phoenix, what year were you born? 2006. He was literally born in 2006. Yeah. Holy shnikes. I mean- we are 15% off of home sales from this point last year. We were almost, you know, over 7% off in future home sales, so pending sales. That's, that indicates future less, activity. Less new homes will sell in the future, and we already know that because new homes have to be contracted way early in the build process. Yeah, I mean, but think about that mortgage application. 27 years. Yeah. 27 years. It's the lowest level. I mean, and, it and is- the reason is obvious, and then there are not so obvious reasons. So less yeah. people are getting mortgages because rates are up. Right, we went to the high sevens, and but then the refinancing is what a lot of people don't think about. It's not dead because a lot of people have a lot of equity that they can get that equity out at seven point eight percent. It's still better than having to find that money someplace else or twenty percent co- credit card. I yeah. talked to Patrick about uh, refinances. Yep, I think he's done two or three this year. Yep. That's it. Whereas he was doing dozens, if not hundreds before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So all that to say, these people are are encouraging the Fed with good data, 
but I just don't think the Fed's going to respond to it. I think they have dug their heels in, and their goal, especially the chairman, is to be looked at, looked back at, whatever the right term would be. 10, 20 years from now, he wants people to look back and say they did the courageous thing, which was crash things in the short term to fix things in the long term. I don't know that that's what's going to happen, but that's my understanding of what basically they're willing to do is ride this out much longer. 214-614-8595. That's the number for DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance. Uh, do what I've done, Todd's done, so many of our friends, family members, clients have done. They reached out to DP to talk about the home insurance, the auto insurance. DP and his team figured out, hey, this is who we need to go with. This is going to be the best thing for you this year. We're going to bundle this. We're not going to bundle this. We're going to get you the most coverage at the best price. That's what DP and his entire team do over at Goosehead Insurance. You can reach out to him, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com, 214-614-8595, or go to the toddtramoneyteam.com, click the radio tab, and you can find all our recommended pros and vendors. You ever have a buying experience where you ask somebody like, should I get this one or that one? And it feels like their answer is, yeah, you should buy something from me. Sure. That's the difference in a great insurance agent, insurance broker, and someone that just sells whatever they can sell you, right? You're like, no, I'm asking you what is the right thing to get. It's not, I'm not asking, you know, can I buy something? What's the cheapest? That's what DP and his team do, right? They help you think through, do you even need that coverage? Do you need more of that coverage? Do you need less? Well, your life situation has changed since we last did this. So your coverage should change. I might shop that with a different carrier because they have better options for you in this situation. And half the time they're doing it automatically. The other half the time they're actually asking you some pretty smart questions so they can really dial that in for you. Then saving money is a cherry on top because you're actually protecting the right things at the right time the right way instead of realizing that you've been paying for a policy for 10 years that you haven't needed for nine of them, right? So that's what DP Lambert and his crew do. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. All right, if you don't know the condition of your roof, you're in trouble. Really, if you don't know the condition of your roof, you are in trouble. We're heading into fall, we're heading into winter. Y'all know what's coming. We'll have sporadic, super heavy rainfall, We'll have sleet, well, maybe some hail. We might even get snow. We'll have high winds. We'll have sustained low temperatures. We'll have totally wild, rampant temperature changes. And if you don't know that your roof is solid, then you're putting everything under that roof at risk. I want you to reach out to pmrroofing.com. You can call 469-409-ROOF or ROOF, however you want to say that, 469-409-ROOF. Ask for Jordan Collins. Tell them I sent you. They'll take great care of you. I called them last week. I was thinking my roof looked rough. We'd had that hailstorm. Yep. They came out and looked, and honest to God, they were like, you look great. Let's just keep in touch. Wait, they and said I you was, look great or the house looks the great? The house looks It's okay great. if they said both. I mean. <laughs> the roof looked great, and I was shocked and so grateful. Shocked because they didn't try to sell you something. Yes. Grateful because now you can sleep better knowing that you don't have to worry totally, about it. Totally, and whole. I can just wait. Well, and she yeah. was disappointed too because she's full price called I me. And so did she really wanted to I was you. rocking and ready to pay you for I, something. Honestly, I was. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? PMRroofing.com. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, it's not too late to get that done before the end of the year, before the end of the tax year, before the end of the school semester, but you are running out of time. Give us a call right now, 214-310-0008, or head over online to toddtramoneyteam.com. Don't forget, Google Todd Tremonti and check out over 700 five-star reviews. All right, folks, let's get right into it. When we went to the break, we were talking about all sorts of different things related to your DFW real estate. Dallas, Fort Worth, and surrounding area real estate. It is not too late to get bought, get sold, get moved before the end of the year. Um, but most people wait to have these conversations too late, and then they end up tapping out. You can never start those conversations too early. Call 214-310-0008 or text 214-310-0008. You should have that saved in your phone and just call or text us with any real estate needs. Or you can always go to toddtremonteteam.com where you can search every house for sale by every agent and all of DFW. You can take your home buyer readiness scorecard. You can take your home seller readiness scorecard. If you happen to be catching the podcast and you're out of state, you can even take your Texas Fit Finder scorecard as well as find out your home equity, find out what your home would sell for right now. Every single bit of that 
is on the site at toddtremonteteam.com. You click that sellers tab, you find out your value. You click that home home valuation tab, obviously your home value. There's a lot going on. All of that is online at toddtremonteteam.com. First segment, as always, brought to you by Patrick and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you want to get a mortgage, if you are thinking about getting a refi, if you need to get some cash out, whatever that looks like, give Patrick a call, reach out to him on his website. He's going to be able to help you, or at least he's going to be able to point you in the direction if it's something that he can't help with. And he's done that for me before. And a lot of what he's doing lately is people read in the news what the rate is. Well, there is no the rate. There's there's the rate for you in your situation. So he's helping a lot of people understand that the rates in the headlines are not universal you know, what's your situation? What could we do to get that rate down? There's lots of ways to get that rate down or change the term. There's a lot more options than most people think, especially if they're just talking to their big bank. PatrickLeros.com is where you can go to start an application if you're ready to do that. If you want to just have a conversation with him, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. And you can go to team.com and you can click at the radio tab and find all of our recommended pros and vendors that we talk about on the show right there. All right, in one minute or less. Oh, boy. One minute or less. If you need to set a timer, to set a timer. I got one here in my brain. Talk to me about there are several real estate agencies, brokerages, that are quitting NAR. They're quitting the National Association of Realtors. They are no longer requiring their agents to be a part of NAR. What does that mean? All right. NAR is the National Association of Realtors. At any given time, there's 1.5 million or more-ish real estate agents who are a member of the National Trade Association. That's what it is. The word realtor means you're a member of NAR. You can be a licensed real estate sales agent and not be a realtor because that is only the word for members of that group. Now, lots of agents complain about NAR because they do a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. And lots of people think they waste a lot of time and resources. And I'm often one of those people. I will say a lot of these companies need to be careful what they wish for by leaving an agency that does do a good bit of lobbying for homeowners and real estate agents. Now, the reason lots of them are reason, are leaving is complicated. Some of it's for money. Some of it's because they're not getting their way. Some of it is because of the complexity of being a member of the organization. The reality is in lots of areas, they actually won't be able to leave because you're required to be a member of the national, state, and local mem- uh, associations to have access to the MLS. So, For a lot of people, this is a big nothing burger. But for industry watchers, what this really means is the industry is changing. You better know your agent and their model and what value they bring because everything is changing. All right, talking about things that are changing. We're close, right? You're moving into the almost finished, hopefully finished, really, really close to being finished. New home. How's the the moving element going? Because I know that's something that people dread. Listen. It's one of the reasons I think people are like, uh, let's just stay where we're at because we really don't want to have to deal with the moving of All stuff. Right. What I'm about to do in the world of marketing, this is called a damaging admission, which means I can do something for you, but there's an aspect of what I do for you that's admittedly not great. So here it comes. Moving is terrible. It is. Moving your stuff, moving your people, moving your home base is an absolute punch in the face, metaphorically speaking, but, big butt segment, but it's worth it. Uprooting your life, you know, all your habits and your patterns. You ever move and then you drive home from work and drive the wrong way? You're like, oh, I was going the way I used to go to the old house. Moving is just this unbelievable psychological, physical, emotional upheaval of your whole life, but when you move to a great home or a great community or a great school or whatever the case is, it's worth it. But for a day or two, sometimes a week or two, it's horrible. And I just want to admit that, right? We own a real estate brokerage, we own a real estate team, we coach and consult with real estate agents, but here's the reality. That day, that couple of days is just a total beating, which is why you should hire a licensed professional, you know, there's not a license, a professional proven mover if you can, if you can afford that, I would say plan ahead, save for that. It's totally worth it. Um, but also plan ahead, have a system, but the actual moving day or days is just a complete kick in the teeth here at the Tatramani home selling team. We try to prepare our buyers and sellers by introducing them to great movers, helping them prepare ahead of time with great systems, helping them think through lease backs and things like that so that it doesn't all have to happen in like one, six or eight hour period. 
There are ways to make it less miserable, but it's okay to admit the physical act of moving is not fun, but it is worth it. Have you seen um, what's happening with the borough recently? Listen, you have, have no you idea. You couldn't even quantify <laughs> the amount of information have that I seen? consume around you know what the borough. I say if there's any Sunderland fans listening? <laughs> Because we beat them 4-0 at their own place. We won five in a row, Todd. You know what Dane and I have we were watched? bottom of the league you're and about, now we're not. It's you are so about good. to be so proud of me. Go you know it. what Dane and I have been watching lately? No. I've been watching a little bit of that Beckham show. Oh, I heard it's good. I haven't seen it. A little bit about David. A little bit about Victoria. Spice uh, Girls. I, I, I know heard, you're a fan. I heard, the. of course. I was the 15-year-old boy. You don't grow up in England at that time. Not a fan of the Spice Girls. Now... Real quick pop quiz question, and I know this one's my fault. Which of the Spice Girls were you the biggest fan of? Ginger. Which, which one is she? Jerry Halliwell. Now I think married, I don't know anything about that one. Now married to There's Chris, Sporty. Now married posh, to Christian Horner. Which is the one who's the judge on the... Mel C or Mel. B. What was her, what's her name? Like, which Spice? It was Ginger, Sporty, Posh. I think Mel was Sporty. Mel C was sporty. It was also Mel B. Yeah, Mel B. Well, moving on. <laughs> yeah. You are listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly, and we are actually talking about real estate most of the time on this show. But the big news was Middlesbrough won five in a row. Hey, do you know what's happening in exactly 74 days, 14 hours, 12 minutes, and 35 seconds? You know I, I do mean? know. I do know. You ready? It's a bit less than that. Does Phoenix like, know? Like 60 days. Santa's coming in town. Santa! It's so close. <laughs> Oh, it's my best time of the year. Oh, I love Christmas. I have no problem with you counting that down henceforth. Oh, it's going to be happening. But, but you know that's what? That's the comes thing about building Christmas? a house. You start thinking about, I can't wait to have Christmas here. What do you guys want? What's the first meal going to be here? Truth is, it's probably going to be like pizza because <laughs> we don't have working stuff yet. Anyway. Do you know what holiday we have before Christmas? I do. What is it? Thanksgiving. And what holiday do we have before that? Halloween. Oh, boy. Halloween, scariest time of the year, right? All Hallows Eve. What are some of the... To be clear, we know there are lots of other wonderful holidays in there. Go ahead. What are some of the scariest home buying, selling experiences that people need to think about as they prepare themselves to get ready to do this? Well, there's a couple thoughts that come to mind. The, 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 the initial thought is the scariest part of the entire home buying process is not finding the right home. It's not negotiating the contract even. It's the unknown, right? Well, it is the inspection process. Mm. You get that inspection report, and for most people, because most agents are not preparing people well, that document terrifies people. That's where the fear, the anxiety, the cold feet come in. Not just on the buying side, but on the selling side. For sure. Well, and there's a whole strategy to prepare and minimize all that. But if you're the traditional buyer, normal agent, normal situation, you're getting 30 or 40 pages of what's wrong with this house. Yep. All of a sudden you're going, uh, hold on. I'm taking on that much debt. I have to pay that much money. I have to uproot my whole family. And I get to adopt these 40 pages of stuff that's wrong. Holy smokes. I don't know about all this. So uncertainty is certainly a scary thing. Taking on debt, potentially making a huge commitment, but I'll say, the inspection period is by far the scariest part of that entire deal for a buyer. Yeah, and we do some things in our team to really alleviate that, really for both sides. To turn it into an advantage yeah. instead of a really scary deal. Yeah, that's part of our seven-step proprietary selling process in our 13-point buyer program. If you want to know more about all that stuff, go to toddtremontiteam.com. Or if you're geeked out and you need to know right now, call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214 310 Zero 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 eight. I was playing in a golf tournament recently um, with uh, to raise a bunch of money for Young Life, mm-hmm. and while we were there, we saw several of our friends from Repu- from Republic Title. Hey, they were playing there too. They were giving some money. They were donating. Uh, one of the more reason why we love to work with Republic Title. Yep. But on the work side of things, we've told you for so long now, and I had it happen again. We had another. In, we had a, a contract that we couldn't get to work with Republic Title. It was with another. A title company and it just wasn't smooth it didn't go well and it keeps happening and it happens when we don't work with republic title which is why we advocate and we try to do that so so often they're one of the leaders in the title in the title world republic is where you can go you can find out all the information about what they do 
972-423-8777 is how you can call them. You can go to todgemayteam.com and you can find all of our recommended pros and vendors there. If you're curious about real estate in any kind between now and the end of the year, or if you're starting to think about goals for next year in 2024 real estate, we need to have a conversation now. While you don't have the stress and the intensity and the impulse of the moment, have that conversation early. Also, just Google my name, Todd Tremonti, T-R-A-M-O-N-T-E, or Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, and I want you to read some of the over 700 five-star reviews about people's experiences with the team, about buying, selling, investing. Some of them didn't buy, sell, or invest. They just got advice. They got information. They got a tip. They got a vendor recommendation. You can do all of that online. Google Todd Tremonti and check out over 700 five-star reviews. That's as simple as that, folks. Check us out online. If you're thinking about buying or selling, let's have a Zoom call. Let's meet together at the office. We'll buy you a cup of coffee or a Coke or a glass of water, and we will answer your questions, alleviate your fears, help create some certainty. Maybe we put together a timeline for next year or the following year or five years out. Maybe we help you achieve a dream that you didn't think was possible right away. All that can start online at ToddTremontiTeam.com. Look, there's probably people listening that are just like, man, you guys are just realtors, right? You're just selling homes, you're doing this, try and sell homes. The mm -hmm. reality is we do some really cool other things too. This past week, we just wrapped up the conference that we were hosting. Mm -hmm. It's our fifth uh, real estate conference that we've done. And we've got to have some really cool impact yep. globally as well as like nationally with creating these relationships and helping people build businesses to to achieve things in the same way that we're trying to do things here in DFW. Mm -hmm. We want them to go and replicate that and help them do that to impact their communities. And we got to do some really cool stuff this week. So give us an idea, give the audience a, a run through of what yeah. we did, what we'll, that looks we'll like. We'll give you some hyper-specific details when we finish the final count. But we believe that real estate is an incredible business to be in. And we love consulting with other agents around the country because we believe the real estate is a business, especially residential, that allows us to really get elbow to elbow with homeowners around their lives, what they care about, the community. Uh, you know, every generation, you know, we've got grandparents, we've got adults, we've got kiddos. Um, we're helping people make impact through their communities of faith, their areas that they volunteer, their sports organizations, all these things. One group that we have chosen to have a global impact with and partnership with is Compassion International. And so every year when we host this conference, every time we write a book or publish something that generates revenue, the royalties go to Compassion International. We do an auction, we do raffles, we help people find access to sponsor kiddos around the globe. And we do all that at this conference. But really more than that, we're helping hundreds of other real estate professionals find a way through their local business at home in St. Louis or Florida or California or New York City or Rochester, Minnesota, all the places all around North America, Canada, where people, we get to impact these people, then they get to get to go home and impact their community or the globe. And so we're modeling, not just, can you sponsor a kid? Would you donate a thousand dollars? But would you then go home and in your community be a conduit to sponsoring kids, raising money, building facilities that will support pregnant mothers and their children, you know, 15 of each every single year going forward. That was our goal this year. So we're modeling that people build a business that allows them and their clients and their team members to have impact in the world. I'm just a believer. I've built enough businesses to know it's not worth it. It's a ton of work. It's not worth it if you can't also have significant impact in the world in areas that you care about. For me, those are, I try to have eternal impact. And so we get to model that for these people. We get to do that with them. Again, we'll, we'll update you in a couple of weeks at how much we raised and what the impact of that is. But more exciting than that is not only do we sell houses here in DFW, we help agents from all over North America follow our model or better models to sell homes where they live. But more than selling homes, it's getting to help impact families make decisions where the home is impactful, where you live, you know, how you cultivate a marriage, parenting, your own safety, security, and recreation. And we get to do that here. We get to help agents do that elsewhere. And we get to help people reinvest in impact all across the globe for all of eternity. And that's why we love to do what we do. Yeah. And if that sounds like something that is really enticing for you and 
maybe you just got your license, maybe you're thinking about getting your license, reach out to us. Go to touchonmyteam.com, uh, fill in a form, give us a call, uh, you know, just say, hey, I wanna learn more about what that looks like. Like, I wanna learn more about what it is that you and your team does. Um, and we wanna talk about that with you. We want to bring in more people. We're looking for share the same four stuff. new people to join our team yeah, right now. Both on the Fort Worth side and on the Dallas side. Like, we want people that share the same cause that we do so that they can like join in and run with us and do it at a really, really high level. And the opportunities are there. It's a really, really cool opportunity right now. Yep. Figure it out. Join us. Think about it. Talk about it. Let's have a conversation. Todd Tremonti team dot com. Todd Tremonti team dot com. If you haven't checked out your home valuation recently, do so. Go to Todd Tremonti team dot com. Click the home valuation tab. And in less than a minute, You'll answer a few questions and in less than a minute, you'll find out what your home is worth. You're gonna find out what it might rent for. You're gonna know what your home equity is. It's gonna give you a ton of information and then someone from our team can reach out to you and have a conversation with you about what it is that you're looking for. Maybe you genuinely just want to know what your home is worth, but maybe you're starting to explore what it might be like to sell, or maybe you're wanting to try and get a cash offer for your home. We can give you a call and we can discuss all the various different things that you uh, that you're thinking through. We want to do that. We're happy to do that. Go to torturemindteam.com, click the home valuation tab. Hey, what are you reading right now? All right. One quick nugget. I'm reading on. Uh, I'm reading a book right now that is basically about dying with nothing, which sounds really morbid. But the reality is it's about getting the most out of your life. The book is called Die With Zero by Bill Perkins. Um, I wouldn't say it is the perfect uh, you know, approach, because for me, I value, I, I take my guidance from scripture, from God's word, from the Bible. Um, but it's got some unbelievably exciting stuff in there about how to be thoughtful about how you live your life and not just mindlessly follow the normal Western culture, American crowd, which is, you know, you live your life when you're young, you're broke and you just work, 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 work. And then you get to the expensive part of life with kids or college or home buying and you're building, building, building. So you work, 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 spend, 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 spend. And then you get to the very end of your life where there's less work and a lot of spend. Basically, the book is about how that's kind of a bad approach to life, that there are times in your life that are best uh, suited for enjoying certain things. And so you should allocate your time, your energy, your recreation, your earning and your spending differently based on your physical health, based on your life stage, based on your ability to travel, all these different things. And ultimately you shouldn't die broke an invalid, but you should get the most out of life and your resources. If you wanna give money to your children, do that before you die. If you wanna give money to charity, give that as you go, that kind of thing. So it's a really great book, but it's causing me to think unique thoughts about the impact that our businesses can have, that I can have with my children, that I can have with their friends, that I can have on people that I love, and that I get to uniquely have with the unbelievably unique platforms that I have. Million views on YouTube, radio audience, podcast, podcast audience, events we host, hundreds of clients we help a year, team members that I get to invest in on a daily basis. So it's really helping me think about how I live and how I model life for others. I like what you shared with me about the dividends of memories yeah. and how. There's a really cool concept in the book about like you get, let's just say you can get up to 10 points. You could score us an experience. I took the family to Disney World, eight out of 10, whatever. The memory of that though could potentially be worth more than the experience itself if you have enough of those memories, if you have enough life to remember that. If you go to Italy in your 80s, you're not physically healthy enough to do a lot of the things you probably wanted to do. And you might have one or two or 10 or 20 years of memories. If you go to Italy in your 30s, you might have 50, 60, 70 years of memories and you might eat differently or cook differently or read differently or look at art differently for 70 years. That might've been an eight or nine out of 10 experience. You might get 30, 40, 50 life points. I'm just making this up. Um, from all of the memories and the impact of having that experience earlier. So that's kind of the concept. It's a very cool book, but again, it's helping me think more about how I live and how my life uh, impacts other people. So um, I'll tell you what, when I think about how I live this time of year, I picture myself in my backyard. 
If you don't have your backyard, if you don't have your landscaping dialed in, do that right now. Do it right now before we get all the way into the time of year in North Texas for, and that, in my opinion, is the best weather, the best time to be outside and enjoy that. Go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. Ask for my buddy Alan. Tell him Todd Tremonti sent you. We're literally broadcasting from the Keen Landscaping Studios telling you to call Keen Landscaping so you can experience what I do, which is a landscape built by Keen. Keen Landscaping, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. All right, if you're thinking about making a real estate move in the next year, we need to start talking about that now. Don't wait until you're 90 days out. Don't assume that you've got this figured out. Don't do a bunch of internet real estate. Don't piece together weird advice from your five friends that know some things about these things. Start that conversation earlier. We're not gonna charge you anything for that. We want to help you find clarity, find confidence, find a plan that works best for you and your family and your finances. And now is the time to start that conversation. Whether you're six months out, a year out, or 10 days out, Let's start the conversation early so we can point you to the right resources, help you with the right information, and actually ask you some questions that you might not yet know to even ask yourself. Even if you're a year out, two years out, three years out, that's okay. We want to be a helpful resource for you so that you can sleep a little bit better and be more confident in your decision-making about your real estate. Give us a call, 214-310-0008, or you can text that number, 214 214- 310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. You can find out what your home would sell for. You can find out how much home equity you have. You can track that month to month. You can watch it, look at a ton of reviews. Find out what your home would sell for right now and under a minute at toddtremonteteam.com.